Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. If your refrigerator is not defrosting, here are the top five most probable causes. The evaporator coils collect frost as the air passes through them to cool the refrigerator and freezer compartments. Since frost buildup can cause airflow problems, the coils require periodic defrosting. If the defrost heater assembly is defective, the evaporator coils will frost over. You can use a multimeter to test the defrost heater for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the component. If the heater tests negative for continuity, it will need to be replaced with a new one. The defrost thermostat monitors the temperature of the evaporator coils. When the temperature drops to a set level, the contacts in the thermostat close and allow voltage to power the defrost heater. A malfunctioning thermostat may prevent the heater from working. As with the heater assembly, you can use a multimeter to test the thermostat for continuity to determine if the part is defective. Keep in mind, you'll need to test the thermostat at a temperature of 15 degrees Fahrenheit or lower for a proper reading. Some models have a defrost timer, which turns the heater on for about 25 minutes, two or three times a day. A faulty timer may not advance into the defrost cycle or be able to send voltage to the heater during the cycle. Try slowly advancing the timer dial into the defrost cycle. The compressor should shut off and the heater should turn on. If the timer does not allow voltage to reach the heater or the timer does not advance out of the defrost cycle within 30 minutes, the component should be replaced. Some models will have a defrost control board to control the defrost cycle instead of a timer. A defective control board may prevent the evaporator coils from defrosting. While the board cannot be easily tested, you can inspect it for signs of burning or a shorted out component. Since the refrigerator's main control board regulates the power supply to all of the appliance's components, a malfunctioning board may prevent voltage from being sent to the defrost system. Before replacing a main control board, you should rule out the other probable causes. For additional troubleshooting information, enter your appliance's full model number in our website's Repair Help search bar. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.